So if your iPhone's voicemail is not working properly then don't worry because in this video we are gonna be troubleshooting all of your voicemail's issues so that you can start using it again without any problem. Now there could be several reasons why your voicemail is not working in your iPhone. It might be due to incorrect settings or a software glitch or an issue with your carrier. And in most cases simply just restarting your iPhone can solve a lot of the problems. But in any case if it doesn't work then I've got 8 methods by which you can do that. So let's talk about it. So firstly you have to ensure that your voicemail is currently set up on your iPhone. As sometimes you have to do that if you have recently switched to a different carrier or you have updated your iPhone or you've just changed your cellular plan. So to check if the voicemail is correctly set up on your iPhone so open the settings app scroll down and tap on phone. And if you are able to locate the change voicemail password option at the bottom then your voicemail is already set up and you are good to go. But if you can't find the change voicemail password on your iPhone then you have to set up your voicemail from the scratch in your iPhone. So open the phone app and then tap on voicemail. Here you'll see the option of setup. Just tap on it and create a voicemail password and also record your custom greeting to set up completely. So in the second number we have force closing and relaunching the phone app. So if your voicemail seems non-functional even if it's set up correctly, it could be possible that you have run into a temporary software related issue on the phone app. So on your iPhone first access the app switcher and then swipe up on the window for the phone app to close it. Then again open the phone app and check if voicemail is working or not. Now the third trick is to turn your cellular data off and on again. Now this method might seem rudimentary to you but this process refreshes your device's cellular connection which will clear up any temporary glitches or connectivity issues with your voicemail. So swipe down the corner of the screen to access the control center and then tap on the green cellular data icon to turn it off and then again turn it on. Alternatively you can open the settings app and just scroll up and here just tap on cellular and here you can use the cellular data toggle to turn it off and then again to turn it on. So the fourth method is to make sure that your call forwarding is turned off. So if by chance you've enabled call forwarding on your iPhone then you won't be able to receive any voicemail. So to make sure that this isn't the reason why your voicemail is not working then follow these steps. So tap on the settings on your iPhone, scroll down and here tap on phone and here tap on call forwarding. And if by any chance call forwarding toggle is on then just turn it off. So while you are doing that don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our videos. Now let's say your call forwarding is already turned off but you still can't use voicemails on your iPhone. Then you may have run into a software bug and need to update your iPhone as soon as possible. And that is where our fifth method comes that is to check your iOS software updates. As the software updates often include bug fixes and improvements that will resolve various problems on your iPhone. So again go to settings and just navigate to general and here just tap on software update. And as you can see there is an update here so just tap on update now if there is any update available to you. And while you are here make sure that beta updates are turned off. You only install the stable updates because beta updates also have many glitches and bugs. So up next on the 6th number we have to check for a carrier update. Now apart from installing the latest version of iOS, updating the latest carrier settings can also help fix your voicemail issues. So while you are here in settings again just go to general and here tap on about and if you scroll down and you see if a carrier settings update dialog pops up just tap on update. Alright if all of these methods are still not working then here are two more methods left so let's talk about that. So in the second last number we have to reset your iPhone's network settings as misconfigured network settings can also lead to lots of iPhone issues especially with voicemail. So resetting the network settings can help but keep in mind that this action will remove all of the saved Wi-Fi networks and bluetooth connections and also revert the apn settings to the default state so you have to keep all of these things in mind so just tap on settings and again go to general scroll down and here tap on transfer or reset iphone and here tap on reset and you have to select here reset network settings then enter your passcode and just tap reset network settings again okay if you have tried everything but nothing seems to work then it's a good idea to contact your carrier personally for assistance because it's possible that your iphone is just fine maybe the issue is with your carrier and which needs to be addressed so that you can use your voicemail perfectly now depending on your phone carrier you can use the following customer helpline which you can see on the screen for t-mobile Verizon 
एंड ए डी एन टी सो दीज वर देश एट मेथड बाई विच यू कैन ट्रेवल शूट योर वॉइस मेल इशूज ऑन योर आई फोन एंड इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरी डू लेट एस नो इन दॉमेंट सेक्शन विल श्योरली हेल्प यू एंड ऑल्सो इफ यू रीच देयर डोंट फर्गेट टू लाइक दिस वीडियो शेयर इट विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड फैमिली एंड सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल आई जी ब्लॉग एंड विद दैट दिस इज एंशु शर्मा साइनिंग ऑफ एन आल सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो